Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jamie here. I am gonna do an Ulta haul for you today. I have a bunch of stuff. I wanted to just show you what it looks like. Um, I'm not gonna be able to try everything on because I already have an eye look on, but I'm gonna be showing this stuff over the next couple days. But first, let's start with this because I have to put something on my lips because they're so dry. Um, I've got these two products from KKW Beauty, but I got them through Ulta. So I had the lip liner in Nude 1 and the lip gloss in Nude 5. So let's slap these things on really quick so that I can kind of get on with the video. So today is actually the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty where they actually had the KKW lip liners on sale. So I picked up three more. I have so many already. It's a crazy obsession, but let's put on this lip gloss. So there it is. Um, let me, I'll swatch them for you. So these, I think lip liners are, I think they're only like $12 full price. And then they are on sale for 50% off just today. There is nude one. I really like this color. Then the lip gloss, this is my first time trying the formula. And I just am a lip gloss freak and thought, hey, let's give it a try. <laughs> I've been wanting them for a while. They were on sale the other day at the KKW site, but I didn't get them because of shipping and handling. I can't do it. I can't pay $9 shipping and handling. Anyway, Nude 5 is the color of this gloss. Beautiful. Okay, so I got those. That's number one. Number two from Macy's, I did pick up this Too Faced Teddy Bear Palette. I just did a, recorded a video on it. It's on my eyes right now. So I'm gonna be posting that video hopefully. It'll probably go up right before this video does. So if you wanna know more about it, check out that video. I'll link it below. So let's jump into the other ones I was really excited about. So let's do some older goodies that I picked up first. So I have the Milani blush. It was new on the website. I actually got two of them. I got this one in Petal Primavera and this one in Bellissimo, Bellissimo Bronze. So they're just two blushes. This bronze one is definitely really um, shiny. Hopefully you guys can. There's the bronze one. It has a lot of shine to it. I don't know if you can really see that there, but it does. And then this Petal Primavera one is actually matte, which is nice. I've got this one on, but I also have, you know, bronze and um, bronzer and also a uh, highlighter on. But I really like this Petal Primavera one. It's really nice and neutral. It's beautiful. So this one, I definitely would recommend. I think I just put on the bronze one yesterday, but I didn't like do a full face. So I can't really judge this one yet, but this one I've worn today and it's been on for a couple hours and still looks good. So Milani has great blushes. Let's jump into another thing for Milani. So I've got this Milani Gilded Getaway Palette. So it's so cute. It looks like this, I think it's $20. It has this cute little bus on it and then you pop it open. It's just a magnetic closure, but on a cardboard packaging. It's got a little mirror in there. I haven't taken off the thing yet. And then here are the shadows. So I'm gonna do a separate video on each of these palettes that I have, but I just wanted to show you them. I used this yesterday, last night. I gave it a try and it worked pretty well. Um, the only thing I had to say is that the shimmers, when they're put on your lid, they didn't look as shimmery as they do in the pan just kind of unfortunate, but still beautiful. So this one is $20. Uh, it's a pretty interesting color story. Like I said, I'll do its own separate video on this, but I just wanted to show you that I did pick it up and I guess just what the colors look like. That was pretty much what I wanted to, to show you. So the next ones are pretty interesting to me because it's um, both Essence and Catrice but it's the Disney collection and they're both in it, which I think is weird. Are they like, are they working together? I don't know. 
So uh, Essence has the Disney Princess collection and this one's the Ariel. It has 14 different shades in it. And I picked this one up as the only one of the princesses that I picked up. I think it looks really pretty. Obviously it's kind of pinky and orange. So pinky warm tone. It's really pretty. Um, this, they definitely have, you know, a lot. Then they have one, two, three, four mattes in here and the rest are all shimmers, which is interesting. Um, but I thought it looked really pretty, so I'm excited. And it's got that one marbleized color and the rest just look like metallics. I haven't swatched it yet, so there will be a video coming on this one soon, but it looks pretty. I think this was $14.99. I'll list it below. Then I got these three villains palettes. So these are Disney villains. I have Evil Queen, Maleficent, and Ursula. And I think there might have been like a couple more, but these are just the ones that were more neutral that definitely caught, uh, caught my attention. So the Villains um, Evil Queen palette. So this is Catrice. So it looks like this. It's got a full mirror in it, large mirror. It has the um, cardboard packaging, but a magnetic closure. And it has all of these shades right here so it's got some marble eye shade it has a lot more mattes well not a lot more one two three four five six it has six seven mattes seven mattes in this one so that's not too bad seven out of twelve is that right yeah and then the things that are like whoa it's got well it's got these two shadows that are like you know swirled which should be fine and then it's got so three metallics, one shimmer, and then it has these two glitters, which are gonna be like, ah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's just see what this one feels like. Feels very chunky glittery. Let's swatch it really quick. I'm not gonna swatch everything. It just swatches like glitter does, so it's like all PC and crazy. It's kind of a cool color, but I don't know how much I'm gonna get out of the glitter ones. How much wear so anyway that one was evil queen oh it's kind of cool her you know her apple is red and then the glitter bright red shade in there kind of cool let's move on to the next one so maleficent is this one and i thought it was really pretty because it also has a lot of like neutral colors in it it does have these two glitters again that's gonna be a lot. So it's very similar format of layout. Um, but this one only has one, two, three, four, five mattes and the rest are shimmers or glitters or very metallic. So not that many mattes in this one, but I think enough to like, you know, give you a basic eye look. I'm excited. So I'll definitely uh, be swatching these and doing a try on. More to come on that one. And then the last one is this Villains Ursula palette. Um, and here it is in all its glory. So this one's pr pretty, it just leans a little bit purple, but the rest of it is really neutral other than these four purple shades. It's extremely neutral. So mattes, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six mattes in it. And then the rest so six metallic shimmer, all of that jazz. So cute. So this one has little shells on it. So cute. So I'm really excited to try these. I know that just an unboxing isn't really giving you guys too much. The only thing I can tell you right now out of these, you know, items, I tried this Milani palette and I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was like the bee's knees, but it was pretty good. And then the teddy bear palette I'm digging. So those two, I can definitely say yay for the rest of them. I'm gonna have to try out and let you guys know, but they're so exciting and they're really, really cute. I love the Disney collection, but not enough to like purposely buy them because they're Disney, but just because they're, um, they look like really good shades and I've been interested. I've never tried Essence or Catrice shadows in the past and I've heard pretty good things about them. So anyway, more to come, videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys later, bye.